Well, we have one of our best men heading up the investigation into Tunnell's death. I just hope that his widow isn't wearing rose-colored glasses when it comes to the memory of her husband. Well, I think Mrs. Tunnell has a, a good awareness of her late husband's reputation. All right. Excuse me. What is it, Michelle? No, I'm sorry. You're going to have to have... I know who you're with, Ethan. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I wish to speak to Mr. Thacker. And, uh... Who are you? My name is C.C. Capwell. I know you're representing Tunnell's widow in the handling of the estate. Part of that estate is my company, and I want it back. Uh, Mr. Capwell, my office is not a place for discussions uh, pertaining to business. It is for this one. You and I both know, Ethan, that he was a crook. Tunnell was a thief responsible for people's deaths, and as a felon, he has no legal right to have taken my company. Now, Mr. Tunnell is dead, and uh, he had no criminal record. And the records that I have examined show that your company was first taken over by a gentleman named Robert Barr. Now, until Mr. Tunnell's will is read, we have no idea even who's going to be in charge of Capwell Enterprises. Mr. Thacker, I will not sit still for any legal maneuver. Well, you know, the will is being read this afternoon in Las Vegas. Good. I want to be there. Uh, Mr. Thacker? Yes, well, uh, it's probably a very good idea since you've been named one of Mr. Tunnell's beneficiaries. What kind of perverse joke is this? <laughs> No, no joke at all, Mr. Gapwell. The will is being read in Mrs. Tunnell's home. And being the kind of understanding woman that she is, I'm sure that she would find no objection to your being there. Kind, understanding woman. She must be a viper if she married Tunnell, if she thinks she's going to hang on to my company, Mr. Mr. Thacker. Mr. Gapwell, I would like you to meet Mrs. Tunnell. <laughs> 